I welcome all of you once again to my class. My name is Jewel and today I am going to take the continuation of lesson 4. I am dealing with ICC syllabus Corridova publications. Please like, share and please subscribe to my channel if you like to hear my further chapters from this textbook. Now let's go to the exercise part of this lesson. Read these words aloud. Cheerful, spun, obsession, fantastic. Answer orally. What was King Midas obsession? King Midas was obsessed with gold. Now, tick the correct answer in each. Number 1. King Midas was a fair king of a beautiful country where the people were content and life went along well. Number 2. King Midas had a daughter who was always happy and cheerful. Number 3. As King Midas touched his daughter's shoulder, she turned into gold. Now, who said this and to whom? Number 1. Your only flaw has been your craving for something unimportant. So, you have to say who said this to whom? That is, the strange figure said this to King Midas. Number 2. Oh, I do want this power. That is King Midas said this to the strange figure. Number 3. Alright, but I warn you. That is the strange figure said this to King Midas. 4. Oh father, you must have fallen asleep again. That is King Midas daughter says this to him. D. Read and answer the following questions. Write four sentences on King Midas. So you have to write four sentences on King Midas. He was a good king. He looked after his people well. He loved his daughter. He was obsessed with gold. Then B. King's daughter. King's daughter, she always remained happy and cheerful. Her hair was the color of spun gold. Her eyes were blue. When she sang, the birds would come down from the trees and sat on her hand. Number 2. What did King Midas see in his dream one day? King Midas dreamt that he had got the power of the golden touch and that everything that he was touching was turning into gold. At last, he touched his daughter by mistake and became sad to see that her daughter had turned into gold as well. Number 3. He jumped back in amazement. What made King Midas jump back in amazement? King Midas jumped back in amazement when he touched his beloved daughter by mistake. And found her turned into gold. Number 4. What did King Midas realize when he recalled the warning he had received? The king realized the truth that gold, wealth and positions are truly meaningless. Now next is reference to context. Read the sentence and answer the questions that follow. My life is complete. And I have wealth beyond my wildest dreams. Who does my refer to here? So King Midas is the my referred to here. How did his or her life become complete? According to him, his life became complete as he had to as he had got the golden touch. See. Did his or her life remain complete forever? No, his touch of gold had been only a dream. Now, what happened next? He rushed to his daughter to tell about the golden touch and accidentally touched her turning in her into gold. Thankfully, it was a dream. This dream had made him realize his mistake. Hot's question. 
Why do you think King Midas could not think of anything else apart from gold? King Midas could not think of anything else apart from the gold because he was obsessed with it. Now, expressing feelings. When we speak about our likes and dislikes, we express our feelings about them. Now read the following sentence. I love my parents very much. I like to eat apples. Number 3. I like my friend Trisha because she is a nice person. Number 4. I don't like eating pizza much. Now listen to the statements and frame from for them. Repeat after the expert the sound of z- Z as in zebra, zero, zoo, zip, zoom, grace, roses, zen, zest, zap, breeze, bees, blitz. Now repeat after the expert the sound of the as in there, that, this, then, father, either, although, the, gather, let the themself other therefore apostrophe read this sentence the king's throne is made of gold the sentence tells us that the throne belongs to the king we add an apostrophe s to the word king to show that the throne belongs to him so the apostrophe s we had to show that the throne belongs to the king we use an apostrophe mark followed by apostrophe s to show belonging important we use an apostrophe before s if the noun is in singular or if the noun is in plural not ending with s listen we use an apostrophe before s if the noun is in singular or if the noun is in plural not ending with s we use an apostrophe after s if the noun is in plural or if the noun is in singular ending with the s example they are lakshmi's children the children teacher taught them a new song king midas daughter is very cheerful here the apostrophe is put after the s now Look at the picture and find out whose things are these. You can see Mr. Verma, Bruno, Rahul, Daisy and Sonu. Now answer the following questions. Whose bone is this? Whose bone is this? It is Bruno's bone. Number 2. Whose kite is this? Whose kite is this? This is Rahul's kite. Number 3. Whose car is this? That is Mr. Verma's car. Number 4. Whose doll is this? That is Sonu's doll. Number 5. Whose bell is this? This is Daisy's bell. Whose bell is this? Daisy's bell. Yeah, Daisy is the cow. Now insert apostrophe wherever needed. You have to put apostrophe wherever needed. The children's joy knew no bounds. Here the apostrophe comes after the N. The children's. Joy knew no bounds. Mira's toys are all over the bed. Here, yeah, Mira's. So, apostrophe comes after the S. Toys are all over the bed. Number 3. The boys group got lost in the forest. Boys, B-O-Y apostrophe S. Yes. Group got lost in the forest. Number 4. The woman's compartment was far away. Woman's. W O M E N apostrophe S. Number 5. This is Mr. Sharma's car. Sharma's M A apostrophe S. Mr. Sharma's car. Abstract nouns. Read the given sentence. Mr. Sharma is known for his honesty. Their friendship is famous in the school. The nouns in bold are abstract nouns, that is, honesty and friendship. These are abstract nouns. Abstract nouns are the names of feelings and qualities. They name the nouns which cannot be touched or seen. 
so abstract means they are the names of feelings and qualities so they name the nouns which you cannot be touch you cannot touch or see example the child's bravery amazed everybody so here uh, bravery is the abstract noun one should control his or her anger your anger is the abstract noun the king is famous for his kindness so your kindness is the abstract noun now formation of abstract nouns an abstract noun can be formed by adding letters to the end of the words example friend plus ship is equals to friendship great plus ness is equals to greatness some other letters that can be added to form abstract nouns are ability age meant it example disable means disability some commonly used abstract nouns are pride truth honesty success patience misery bravery trust liberty justice now circle the abstract noun in the following sentence number 1 the children jumped with joy on seeing the santa claus here joy is the abstract noun number 2 the student received the award with pride here pride is the abstract noun number 3 education is important for all so which is the abstract noun education is education is the abstract noun fourth one hard work is the key to success so which is the abstract noun hard work and success number 5 have patience you will get your chance so which is abstract noun here patience now fill in the blanks with abstract nouns from the help box the children were enchanted by the beauty of the fairy help box is here number 2 jamie got a punishment for telling a lie number 3 we should spread happiness all around us number 4 we must always speak the truth number 5 raghav's honesty won him praise from others now form abstract noun from the following words honest honesty truthful truthfulness honor honorship lonely loneliness now write the meaning of the idioms related to the air from the cloud a cloud is given up in the air means unresolved walk on air means feel elated in the air means noticeable all around on air means being broadcast number 5 airs and graces a feeling of superiority now proverbs choose the words from the pyramid to complete the proverbs given below a penny saved is a penny earned number 2 all swell that ends well number 3 an apple a day keeps the doctor away number 4 better to be safe than sorry number 5 A stitch in time saves nine. Number six. Every rose has its thorn. Now, make new words from the word foundations. Clue are given for each new word. Opposite of lost. What is opposite of lost? Found. F O U N D. Then opposite of uh, country, nation. A ball of fire. Sun. Rhymes with got. Not. and noti okay children i hope you all understood the grammar part of this lesson please go through it and please uh, share this and uh, please send your comments and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay children i'll meet you in the next class until then bye